Oftentimes we reject. And we reject it for the purpose of we have personal insecurities. Most people that did not have a father in their lives, when a person steps into their lives operating in their authority, they feel as though they're being picked on. Feel like they're being bullied because they've never seen that side. But when a person's missing mother, thing is they don't really know how to love and to cuddle. Yeah. Because they miss that sign. All right. God. God is a God of judgment, but he's also a God of love. Yeah. He's a balanced God. Yeah. So we have to be balanced people in order to experience him yeah. fully. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I, I shared with the saints, I was praying about something. I was looking at the scripture. I said, God, when you look at Genesis, Adam and Eve were in the garden. Your garden of Eden represented your presence. 
When you look at Eden, that's what Eden is, in, is translated, presence of God. Uh -huh. I said, now how in the world is Satan in your presence? He told me, he says, who knows best how to get in my presence but him? Before he became Satan, he was Lucifer. So I created him to worship me. When he moved, his body began to play sounds and melodies. I said, well, how in the world did you allow Eve to get deceived? He said, because she wasn't balanced. I said, I said, do what? He said, she wasn't balanced. And me and we kept having dialogue. I said, explain it. He began to share with me. He says, she had false information. Think about it. When you read Genesis chapter 2, the Bible says, God told them, don't eat from the tree. Sin came to her and offered her the tree. James tells us, well, whenever we're tempted, never say that you're tempted by God, but you're drawn away by your own lust. So he offered her something that she didn't know that she already had. The thing is, offered her to be wise as God. God said, you're already as wise as me because you have infinite understanding. The only thing that I'm shielding you from is understanding the difference between good and evil because I don't want you exposed to that. But the thing is, God is so mindful. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was the lamb shed before the foundation of the world. So God put provision in place even before the fall. But the thing is, when you look at chapter 3 and she started having dialogue with Satan, guess what happened? Satan says, oh, eat from this tree. She says, we can't eat from it. She said, we can't even touch it lest we die. The thing is, then she touched the tree and saw she didn't die. And she saw that the fruit was pleasing to the eye so that she might want to be able to partake from it. So now, because she had false information, she took of the fruit and ate it. Why are most people struggling in this hour They got false information? Why am my faith not working? Because you believe in what you think rather than what he said. Mama don't say that I make one step God will make two. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says, draw nigh to me and I draw nigh to you. He didn't tell you how many steps he was going to call nigh to him. He told you, draw nigh. You said, well, God, I paid my tithe this week. Now I want to see you give me a miracle. Now, you 45 years old and ain't never paid tithe in your life and paid it one, one time. I want God to open up here boom, miracle. Let God see that you trust him. Give me, at least, give me at least a year. I'm faithfully paying my tithes. Let him see that you trust him. Then the thing is, when he sees that you've drawn nigh to him, then he'll start showing you, yeah, I am. I, 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 I don't even know why I'm in this, this man of The thing is, one, one, of the, one of the struggles for me early on in, in my walk with God when I was trying to develop a prayer life, the thing is, I could pray everything I knew in about five minutes. The thing is, so I, I was saying, I'm going to pray an hour. I'm going to pray an hour. I would pray everything I knew in five minutes, and I'd sit there the rest of the time, Jesus, 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 Jesus. You know, and God says, put my word in you. So the rest of the time, I started reading this, the song. And to make up that hour. And then as time passed, my prayer life started getting a little longer. And instead of me just praying what I felt, I started praying what he said. Say, God, you said I'm the head and not the tail. You said I'm the lender and not the bar. God only not me. I'm the favor to be the blessed to do. Everything I put my hand to do, you're going to bless. Everywhere my feet tread, you're going to give it to me as a hair. You expanded my borders, enlarging my territory. You give me favor with you and with man. I'm looking for somebody to bring me something now. What do you mean? I need a miracle. And I recognize you're not just going to open up heaven and cause it to rain on me. So touch that person that got that money that you intend to put in my pocket. Thank, thank you. And all of a sudden, I start to quit. But I can feel that word rising up in me. I said, something in this thing. And out of the midst of that, I recognize that God was doing something. As I drew closer to him, he says, I can trust you more. Now let me give you more of my presence. Uh, uh, uh. I'm, I'm trying to stop. The thing is that there's somebody saying, Pastor, that sounds good, but I don't believe it. Think about when you're dealing with individuals.